On this mind-reading episode of the NES Pursuit. I don't know anymore. NES Complex and Rift charge toward the swap meet with plans that must be executed. Riff pulls out a collectible that shimmers and shines like no other. And it's shiny, it looks so pretty, and it's minty. NES Complex goes for glory while working his magic with a radical reseller. Like the way he communicated, his friendliness, like I can't wait to go check out the full store now. While the boys are out, Nicole seems to be putting these funny finders to shame. I'm texting them pictures, and I think they're getting a little jealous. One last trip takes the dudes on an offer-up journey for green goodies. Hopefully the games aren't scratched and in good condition. Bunch your McDonald's and prepare for bite-sized finds, singing sillies, female findings, and retro road trips. This is the NES Pursuit. She says $2 each. Two dollars each. to go it's really early we got we got bricks right here we got hi we got riff behind the camera we got we got a body in the trunk today i am going out to the swap meet with NES Complex. I am so excited, so happy. Yes, I'm always happy to game hunt with everyone, but it's been so long since it was NES Complex and I, oh, and, and Brixton's coming. You want that? No, I'm beyond stoked that I'm getting to once again join my buddy Riff and go hunting for old games, go old game look for him. The lighting on you was incredibly terrible. Yours isn't that good either. Well, you were completely shadow. See, I feel like the sun comes up for me. So we're gonna gear up, go to the swap meet, enjoy it the good old fashioned way. Just a couple dudes looking for games out in the wild. So we're off. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. because I had to drive for an hour to get to his place. But that's okay, because coffee has powerful, wonderful effect. Uh, the swap meet is probably, probably still closed. When we say early, we mean early. The sun's out, though. We're about to get to the swap meet. We realize it's probably a little too early. But we're gonna go to McDonald's. Boy, it's been a while since we've been there early. We're gonna, we're gonna have the poopsie loopsies while we're game hunting. So then we go to McDonald's because we need we need to bring back that old style, early NES Pursuit episodes of sitting in a restaurant and being an idiot. Big Mac, McDLT, quarter pounder with some cheese, filet fish, half a meal, hamburger, McNuggets, tasty golden french fries, regular large size salad, shepherd garden or chicken oriental. McDonald's, it's the golden arches, we found it. We found it, they're made of gold. Really important in game hunting is to kind of go with the plan of what you want to kind of evaluate what you what you have in your mind before you go there so you don't get overwhelmed and buy random things you don't need today I think I think I'm gonna be looking for like accessory parts like controllers and plugs what's wrong with this guy I mean he's talking but what is he saying I want to get right now is I think it's because I went to GameStop this weekend but I'm still reeling from the fact that five years ago I had to part with so much of my NES and Super oh, Nintendo. Okay, dude, NES and Super Nintendo, original, original. What are we game hunting in 2013 trying to get views? And I need to get more. And was able to trade in a bunch of stuff, so maybe stuff that's worth good. He's kind of weird. I like the mustache, though. Hmm. Sega Master System game, which I've yet to find in the wild. Not one in the wild yet. So, I'm still hoping, against hope, that I will find games that I actually want. That's what you get for selling your collection. God, is he still talking? Okay. Where's Ricky? 
writing all over him. That or find friends. I'd rather be watching the Game Chasers. Season two. See, people at the swap meet sometimes they just put them out in these boxes and containers and they're sitting out there for like. Man, these guys are old. How boring is this? What's up with Complex? What's his deal? Hideous. But I, I think I'm feeling today that it's gonna happen. Oh, oh, sorry, it's been too long. It's been too long. On this episode of the NES Pursuit, Ricky! That's pretty much I, it. I, I was excited for a bit of rest. It's not a stretch or strong. I just realized this is not stretch or strong. The minute we get into the swap meet, just a couple booths down after arriving, Complex shows me, he's like, hey, there's some comics over here. Mikey, Mikey would like this. And there was some that I was interested in, but then I see, it's not bad so I found Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. A Turok the Dinosaur Hunter comic. Now, two things make this stand out for me, besides from being Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, which is a great game on the N64, also ported to the Switch recently. A uh, really cool kind of a display thing to put next to Turok the Games. But I see in the top left that it's made by Valiant. And I learned recently that Valiant is also the company that made some of the Nintendo comics, even some of the expensive, rare Nintendo comics magazines. So this is exciting to me. So I know Brixton has a different Turok magazine. It's a holographic and it's shiny. It looks so pretty and it's minty, but this is shimmery and shiny. Let me ask him how much. I'd pay two dollars. And I asked the guy how much, and I'm like, I would pay like two bucks for this, because I really am, I'd actually probably pay five, to be honest, because it's great display with the holographic. How much did you say this was? Two bucks? But the guy says two bucks, so with two bucks, I'm in luck. Take that, Ricky! Now I have Turok the Dinosaur Hunter on Blu-ray in my video game shelf wall. What's wrong with this guy? How about two bucks? No, I'm just kidding, I have two bucks. This is the night. I gotta play the right notes if I'm gonna sing along with it. Gotta get that, you know, that action in there to, to cut the, the seal. <laughs> Me and Brix and I just both reached for this at the same time. A Super Smash Bros. Wii U pin. This is cool. This is really cool. Look at this guy, look at this guy. If you've ever game hunted with friends, you see things sometimes where you're like, oh, this would make my friends jealous. And I know in particular, Rick, all right, what I was looking at is this guile and Sagat or Sagat, they're two dollars each. The Latino lovers on the show, Gabo and Ricky would be jealous because I found a little Sagat and a little Guile, and not the craziest thing in the world, but cool display, kind of stuff they would love especially. But they also have a Knuckles over here I wanted, and I just was like, hey, but when I ask again, two bucks each, and the lady ends up saying, hey, um, I'll actually do three for five. Can I get three for five? And she said yes, which is really cheap, so I pick up a little Knuckles that I wanted as well. This is the perfect thing. These are the kind of things for game collectors out there. A word of advice, when you got games lined up on your walls, on your shelves, get little figures and just toss them on the front. I'm sure most of you know that, but man, it just puts the creme de la beurre on top of the game wall shelf area that you put your games on with labels and plastic. So, I'm getting these. I'm over here. Uh, I'm over here. Ah! Do they even actually collect? Wow, this is a Game Chasers ripoff. This doesn't mean much now, but one day, this is gonna be very important. So, I mean, 
mean, I know that everyone looks for NES games and Super Nintendo games and it's kind of old hat, but that's what I'm looking for. Gotta regain that collection. But we're walking around and I'm finding nothing. Things like that. I never really told her how much she We found one. We found one. I, I think I have it though. Riff's finding things, of course. Bricks is finding things, of course. But what am I finding? Nothing. Label damage. I can't do it. Bupkiss! Is that the word bupkiss? Or is it buttkiss? No, I don't think that's what it is. Not buttkiss. Bupkiss. I'm finding buttkiss. But then... But then... Then. About the last aisle. So I'm actually thinking about buying some stuff. I see this really cool, really cool little booth. And they've got games, and you know, I'm thinking, oh, it's a reseller, it might not be so great after all, but I think I'm gonna buy some stuff. There's some Super Nintendo games here that I don't have, I need to fill up those shelves. So, I've learned over the years that resellers aren't all that people crack or crank them up to be. Now, um, I do give you that option that as long as you, you know, take more of the stuff, I'll give you some sort of, uh, uh, this guy. Oh, right on, good, because I'm not done. <laughs> Oftentimes, if you just stop, and talk to them and be friendly with them. Get to know them. They're pretty awesome. And in this case, Harry from Games Plus was very awesome. Hey, just in case you guys happen to be around San Bernardino, you know, we have a store over there. It's a brick and mortar store, you know, it's uh, called Games Plus. But search it as Games Plus Bloomington because there's a Games Plus right here in San Costa Mesa, but it's a bar. You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in case you guys want to check us out and stuff, we're open every day from 9 to 5. Games Plus Bloomington. 18 and 3 after the 20 for both. Now, for this one, it hasn't sold in a while. You know what? I'll do also 20 for both of these. So it's $5 discount. And um, I loved seeing Complex talk to this seller because not only was he a cool seller, but without asking, this is this is key with being a reseller. He was like, hey, if you, if you bundle stuff up, I'll give you a discount. He didn't even have to ask. Mario Paint, I'll be honest with you, man. I'll throw it on there. Just throw it in? Just People either, either don't know what it is, or the people that buy it and stuff require the little mouse, right, you know? Right. And yeah, 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 I don't want to deal with it, so. And, you know, I picked out about eight things, and uh, I added up the prices, it was about $85. But he sat there, and he kind of like broke it down, he was willing to give me a deal, and when he came back, he threw in Mario Paint for free. That's right. Right on. And one of the games he threw in for free, he wanted 10, but he threw in Mario Paint. Because, you know, people need the mouse and the, the mouse pad. And it was cool, we were telling Brixton about how it works and how it's such a fun game, getting to design things and the music aspect and, and also being able to play the fly swatter game. It was a fun game. Was it's actually a really that. fun game, Brix. Yeah, you would really like that. He threw, he chopped down prices of almost everything and in the end I paid 65 for all those games. And they had some pretty immaculate labels as I like to find. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, man. Yes, yeah, because uh, in you. the morning, man, we're like, yeah. really like, we're getting our angels. Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. So. yeah. Be open and loving to resellers. Don't always automatically whoosh them off because they're a reseller. If you look around and talk to them, be friendly, be courteous. Yeah, because everything does include warranty and stuff. And one thing I do do right here is that the reason I have these stickers is so in case you ever get tired of them, you could always just bring them back and trade them. And you trade okay. them for other games that are worth the same price. Oh, wow. <laughs> like a straight just, across trade? Yeah, because people just want to play them, basically, you know? And yeah. some people do want to collect them. Yeah. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Whoa, earthquake. We will, we will. Oh, good job, Complex. I'm proud of you, Poppy. I'm proud of you. You know, when you come to swap meets, it is so cool when you finally find someone who's a kindred spirit. Someone who sees and understands and gets you, right? And that guy, he's awesome. I could tell just being, like, the way he communicated, his friendliness. Like, I can't wait to go check out the full store now. Wait, I think I see Ricky. He's at a soccer game in San Diego. And yet Bubsy. In claws encountered of the bird kind. That's pre it's pretty witty. Pretty kitty. A fun overall time so far at the swap meet, but while I'm here, I recently got 
an Xbox One X, the, the pro of consoles, the powerhouse of consoles, 4K Ultra HDR, 4K Ultra HDR TV as well in my room. The console's looking beautiful, but I need more games. It's a good haul. Haul. A guy in OfferUp has a deal for four games, pretty good games actually, really good games, for 30 bucks. So let's -a go, let's -a pick it up, and we're on our way. I'm excited. Xbox, I'm becoming an Xbox boy. Nice. Ew. Woo! So we're, we're heading somewhere from some app that Riff has to find something that he's gonna get. I know that was very descriptive. So we're driving out to get this offer of deal and I'm getting excited because I text Gabo and he's like, hey, that's actually a really good deal for these games, so. I don't know, salt is pretty cheap at the grocery store, so I don't see how salt is worth much. I, mean, I think back in the day, it's our old cameraman! It's Chris, our hey, old cameraman! Chris Everyone out. Everyone asks about him all the time. There he is. What are you guys doing? Filming an episode. Awesome. We're for Chris. Say hi. All right. Good luck. How's the Pokemon? How's Pokemon? So Chris went out to the swap meet with Riff today. So I figured I've got a few hours to kill. I know the boys are gonna take their time at the swap meet. So I thought, well, I'll just drive around, see if there's any good garage sales. So it didn't hit us till we got in the car, but I, the whole time we're at the swap meet, I'm getting texts from Nicole. I ended up hitting two garage sales that had gaming stuff for sale. So while Chris and Riff were at the swap meet, I'm taking pictures and sending pictures to them of all of this gaming stuff that I see. And they're crazy deals, things that she's finding. She's out garage sailing right now. So one of the garage sales I went to this morning, they brought out a bin when I asked them if they had any retro games. They bring out this huge bin full of original NES, SNES systems, equipment, accessories, and games. So I sent Chris a picture with all the games that they had. The guy comes out with this big bucket full of systems, Super Nintendo, couple NESs, and a bunch of Super Nintendo games. And I'm like... And he was really interested in the Super Mario Kart SNES game. So I asked the guy how much and I was able to get it for five dollars. Five bucks, it was like pristine. So uh, she ended up getting like eight or 10, I don't even know, I have to look at the picture again, but she ended up getting all these Wii games and a Mario Kart for $15 total. So then the second garage sale, I noticed there was a ton of PS4 games. So I asked them how much for the PS4 games and they said $2 per game. So I text Chris and I let him know they're two bucks a game and he tells me. She says $2 each. $2 each. My instructions are to buy every PS4 game that's not a sports title. So I did. And so she buys eight PS4 games, I don't even know what they all are, for $16. And it ended up being a pretty good day. I think he was pretty pleased with what we found. <laughs> Should be here any minute. Uh, I hope, I'm hoping the games are in good condition. They look clean, but uh, I didn't even tell you guys what games they are yet. So I'll, I'll show you when, it, when, when he gets here. To be honest, because I can't remember <laughs> what games they are, but I know it's good titles. When we get there, the people pull up. Oh. It's funny, I forgot what games it was, but Far Cry 5, Battlefield 4, Deadpool, and Halo 5. The main two that I wanted in this was Far Cry 5 and Halo 5. And they were nice and they were friendly and the games were super clean. So you this for your, from your kid, you said? Yeah, yeah nice. he's a, he's a school, uh, school project. Oh, nice. And I got four games from them, from their kid. They were doing this for their kid and I kind of figured because when I was texting the person, they were saying, I gotta find out if I can be there at that time. So, right. cool, thank you guys, I appreciate it. You're very welcome, nice. enjoy them. Yeah, we will. It was really cool to know that someone got to fully enjoy these games and now that I get to enjoy them too. And the people we bought them from, Good. Here you guys well, go. I love, I'm on YouTube all the time. Are you? This kind of fun stuff. Oh, right on. Well, I'll, I'll tell you right about on, it more when, when the camera turns off. After off. the camera shut off, we were talking about Atari and Donkey Kong and how they love this generation. So hopefully they're watching right now. Make sure to subscribe.
another beautiful day. It actually was a really nice day. Not just for weather, but for finding games. For hanging out with Riff, and for hanging out with Brixton. Yeah. Nice job, Brix. Smash that Wii U button. What a good, beautiful, beautiful California day. This is one of those days where you go, this is why I pay the extra money to live in California. Fun with Brixton, fun with Complex. Just a good time. It's good to be back. We got some good deals, too. Just chit-chatting and enjoying all the different things and McDonald's and with Nicole's finds and our finds and the fun and the off-rub deals. Blast, blast driving around, running around town looking for games with my boys. What a day. That's all we got. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode of The NES Pursuit. <laughs> like in the last video where I have a shark being milked, that was weird. We actually found it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Gabo and Ricky, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs>